time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Well, children have a lot more time at home during the summertime, and parents can end up busting their budgets because of it. Problem solver Susan Hogan shows us some sneaky ways that kids can get us to overspend and how we can stop it. And I'm speaking from experience, of course, with three kids, a quick trip to the grocery store or to Target will cost me well over a hundred dollars. But I'll tell you, kids are sneaky, stores are too. We've got some tips though, how to cut the costs. Saying yes to everything a child asks for, no matter how small, can bust a parent's budget and set up some bad financial habits. Clay Pell of Bankrate.com says sneaky ways parents overspend on their kids start in the grocery store and the mall, most notably the pricier name brands and impulse purchases that really add up. Kids don't have the same kind of filter for advertising that we do. They get really into certain brands and get, kind of get almost obsessed with them when they're at the store. So I think the role of parents here is to really teach a little bit of healthy skepticism. Next time you say, not this time, put that money saved aside so kids and teens can see how passing up one small item leads to a bigger treat in the future. Teaching about saving is a skill that can last a lifetime. And overspending doesn't just apply to little ones. One of the biggest parental pitfalls is wedding costs. Adult children are more likely to comprehend the word no even if they don't don't like it. Discuss other money needs with the bride and groom, like retirement savings or paying down debt. Chances are they won't want one big day to cause years of financial peril for their aging parents. Or you can simply do what I do and leave the kids at home and not take them grocery shopping with you. That way you're not tempted to have to say yes. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.